Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentina, in case you don't know me. Recently, I asked you on Instagram, what is the hardest thing for you on makeup? And most of you answered that eyes, eyeshadow, how to apply eyeshadow, how to color match my eyeshadow, which eyeshadow is better for my eye color. Anyway, so I wanted to take advantage that I received this lovely gift to play with some eyeshadow and some eye colors. And instead of explaining you all of this theory, color wheel, intensifying colors, complementary colors, primary colors, secondary colors, all this theory that is true but it's going to confuse you in the end, I decided to do this video where I show you two different eye looks that I think as a makeup artist goes well with every single kind of color. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I already did my foundation, my eyebrows, everything else so we can focus on our eye and we don't lose any time on that. What I don't have is lips because I already chose two different colors for the makeups that we're going to do today and we're going to use these from Melu Cosmetics. They're very similar but they have a tone difference and we'll talk about those later but because I already know that I'm going to use a liquid lipstick, the first thing that I'm going to do is to hydrate my lips and for that I'm going to use this lip balm this is from do it they send it to me this week and I've been loving it because we're changing seasons this keeps me hydrated all the time and by the time I apply the lipstick it's probably going to be gone but my lips are going to be hydrated and ready for that okay so now let's go twice I'm going to start by prepping my lips with some concealer. This is going to help me erase any pigmentation that I might have on my lips and also is going to act as a primer for my eyeshadow. I am using a high pigmented concealer so I can use a very thin layer and still get the coverage. Making sure there's no creases in the concealer, you want to set that concealer with a big brush and a light cream eyeshadow. If your skin tone is darker than mine, you won't use an eyeshadow as light as mine. You do want to go for something neutral and a little bit lighter than your skin tone but you don't want to go white so keep that in mind when choosing your base color as you can see on me right now it is a little bit lighter than my skin but it's not white now I'm going to start using a light brown for this step I love using a palette like this one from Dior because even though I know the eyeshadows are a little bit more expensive I think the formula is beautiful and I know it's not as pigmented as the usual eyeshadows they sell us nowadays but it is a formula that lets you build the color so if you use more product you'll get more pigmentation but because what we're doing right now is just giving some depth to the eye let's call it a contour to the eye around the crease then it lets me blend everything flawlessly without doing a lot of effort now we're going to use a bronze eye pencil. I love using this one from Morphe because it's very inexpensive, it's very creamy and easy to blend. So what I do is I apply it a little bit in the outer corner of my eye and then I blend it out with an angled brush. I'm not doing a winged liner though, I'm just applying a little bit and blending it so it's not a harsh line. And with that same color I'm going to line the inner rim of my upper lashes. Don't worry if you get any transfer from the upper lashes to the bottom lashes. We're not going to worry about that just yet. Now we're going to move on to liner. And for this, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette. This is the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. And I'm going to use this color over here that's called Antique Bronze. This color is perfect for every single color of eye because depending on your eyes it's going to look more purple or more brown and it also has a little bit of shimmer in it so it's just perfect we're going to use that eyeshadow as a liner and we're going to use the same brush that we used to blend our liner before first i'm going to apply it with a tapping motion on top of the eyeliner that we put before and whatever is left i'm going to bring it to the inner corner and now that there's basically anything in my brush i'm going to wing that eyeliner just with eyeshadows not a lot but just to elongate my eye a little bit and with that same palette i'm going to mix a little bit of these two colors just to create a lighter champagne color and i'm going to apply it in the inner corner of my eye i am now going to use a brown it is very neutral and it has shimmer in it the shimmer can look a little bit warm so i'm going to use just a little bit of that in the outer corner of my eye on top of the eyeliner 
just to add a tiny bit of depth, but I'm not going to use a lot. And now I'm going to use the brush that I used to apply the light brown before, and I'm going to blend the edges so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going on top of my eyeliner with the same antique bronze color again, just in case I overblend something too much. And to finish, I'm going to apply a little bit of this champagne color in the brow bone, just a tiny bit. And of course, mascara. Today I'm going to use the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I love this mascara, it's my new favorite, and it's the only one I've been using lately. And for my lips, I'm going to use the Matte Liquid Lip Paint from Melo Cosmetics. This is in the shade Auckland. It is a nude, but it's more like a dirty rose kind of nude in between purple and rosy. And I think that's perfect for this eyeshadow that it's going to look a little bit more purple or brown depending on your eyes. And now with a Q-tip, I'm going to clean the lower waterline. This is the Polar Lights Brown. In my mind, it was going to be a little bit more green. And it's either my mistake because it does says brown or the picture just looks a little bit different. I do think they look beautiful, but I think they're more of a hazel. Yes, going a little bit too green, but more in the hazel side of everything. I am giggling because I feel like a completely different person looking at myself. I can't recognize myself, but I do think it's fun and they look pretty good. I actually really like them. And it's funny because this is very close to my eye color, so I can't imagine how I'm going to look with blue eyes. But anyway, this is how the makeup looks with this eye color. This is the color Trinity Brown. It's like a hazel color and I really, really like it. And this is how the makeup looks. This is the color Himalaya Gray. And this color <laughs> makes me feel like a vampire, but a very beautiful vampire. I love it. I wish I had these eyes. The conclusion of this video is that people with light eyes have a better time posing for pictures. And this is how the makeup looks. Okay, so we're going for the second look now. I took off my blazer because putting on and taking off the contacts really raised up my temperature. So we're going to do it like that, but I have it here in case I get cold. Okay, so the next look is going to be a little bit darker, but it will also look great with every eye color. For this look, I'm going to be using the palette Body Heat from Tom Ford. Tom Ford shadows are my favorite shadows of all time. My favorite one is the Honeymoon palette, but you've seen me use that one a million times, so I wanted to do something different. Okay, so we're going to start same as before, putting a concealer all around my lid, and then I'm going to set it with this color, which is the lightest one of the palette. Now with a blending brush, I'm going to use this color. It's kind of like a coppery, orangey color. And I'm going to apply that color all around the lid. And I'm going to blend the edges with the same brush I used to apply the light color. I am now going to use this color to give some depth in the outer corner of my eye. And again, I will blend with the first brush. And with a small blending brush, I'm going to use the darkest shade just to deepen the outer corner, kind of like an eyeliner and same in the bottom lashes. Now I'm going back to the orange shadow and I'm going to apply it again in the same place just to make sure that I actually can see that color. To finalize the look, I'm going to use this eye pencil from Stila. This is in the color Lionfish and it's a bronzy color. And I'm going to put it in the waterline of the top lashes and the bottom as well. For this look, I'm going to use the color Berlin, also from Mellow, and it's also a nude, but it's a little bit more peachy. This is the color Polar Lights Brown, and this is how it looks in the second look. This is the color Ice Blue, and this is how it looks in the second look. 
This is the color Trinity Brown and this is how it looks in the second makeup look. This is the color Himalaya Grey and this is how it looks with the second makeup look. This is a more intense look, that means that every single color is going to look more intense, but I am using the same lenses as before. I hope you liked it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and to give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, Lee.